Hello everyone, my name is Jonas Panda and welcome back to the Cancer Mini series where I talk about my stories, experiences and all that stuff about me having cancer, obviously. Today is the Saturday, so uh, I thought I'd spice it up a little bit and tell you quite a bizarre and interesting story about the time when I took my first ever allergic reaction, okay? I'm not allergic to many things, in fact I'm allergic to nothing at all. Apart from one thing in the whole world. No, actually no. Apart from two things. Uh, which I found out I was allergic to cyclozine. For people that don't know what cyclozine is, it is a medication used to treat and prevent nausea, vomiting, dizziness due to motion sickness or vertigo. Cyclozine. My first ever allergic reaction. And this is how it went. So I was sitting there in, in hospital with my dad and I'm pretty sure I was in my wheelchair at this point where I'm not entirely sure but there was a person out of my room who was fixing the TV in this like lounge where um, because the Teenage Cancer Trust um, helped fund this part of the hospital, there was like a breakout room where you could have a TV and there was like an Xbox there as well. Uh, in my room there was a TV and on that TV, I think the tennis was playing or something at the time. I got out of bed because I was wanting to get out of bed because when you've been in bed for so long, you kind of just want to get out sometimes. So I'm in my chair and I'm just sitting there just watching, just staring around. And the nurse comes in saying, oh John, there's a new type of drug you've been um, put up for. Uh, this is cyclozine. Cyclozine will help with your anti sickness and nausea because I am an absolute barf bag who just spews everywhere. Of course, I take this thing and nothing's happened. So I take it, what seems to be alright, it goes fine. And then all of a sudden, what I can remember anyway is that I just feel so floppy and go. I feel like someone, from my experience it sounds like I've just had, someone had injected a whole bottle of vodka into my bloodstream and I just passed out. Um, what had actually happened is I had fainted. Um, the rest goes on from what my dad tells me what happened so um, what happened was that I had fallen to one side so my whole, uh, this going, um, my dad had to hold me up um, with me just being just a dead sack of potatoes at this point, just completely flopped over. My dad's having to hold me up with one arm while simultaneously with the other arm trying to press for the emergency buzzer um, while screaming at the guy who's trying to fix the TV in the breakout room, can you get a fucking nurse? He doesn't quite reach the emergency buzzer but the guy in the breakout room does get a nurse. From that, that's all that really got told, I guess. For me, I just remember just waking up and feeling absolutely shit. Uh, so I'd taken a reaction to the cyclozine, which funnily enough, it's actually meant to, you know, stop nausea and actually meant to stop dizziness from motion sickness. And all this does is makes me dizzy and makes me faint, which I find quite ironic. That isn't the only thing that I would really take reactions to. Like if there was a reaction for like our side effect or like a uncommon side effect for a certain drug, I would have it for the chemotherapy. Um, this, could, this makes you sick, this makes your hair fall out, this makes you... What are you doing, man? Go. She's such a pain in the arse, man. Honestly, she scratches at the window and then, five minutes later, being on my shoulder, she wants to go back in. If there was a side effect or if there was something that could happen to you during taking the drug, it happened to me. Because I was actually on 127 tablets a week, with more if I had the deficiency. So I'm no stranger to having to have tablets jammed down my throat 24-7 because that's what life was back then. I had to have 127 tablets a week upon injections as well that I had to have. There was a shit ton of needles stuck in me at every point in time. I'm so glad that I wasn't one of those people that got this tube up their nose so it feed, fed through there because it looks fucking horrible. Like I was lucky to have a cyclozine allergic reaction and not an allergic reaction to the actual chemo itself because if that happened I was fucked. Like, people, it happens to people and I'm, I guess I'm a lucky one. A very small category called the lucky unlucky. That's me, basically. I'm a lucky unlucky. As unlucky as I am, I'm lucky to be here. I guess I end every story with this sort of self-reflection little thing that, um, that has some sort of correlation with the story that I've already told. So, right there, it was the story of me taking an allergic reaction to cyclozine. As simple as it is, it has a lot of meaning behind it. Because of that, what I realised now, I just took what I, I, I just did what I was told. I was given something and I took it because I got told to do it. If I had said, no, I don't want it, then I would still be in the same situation except not having that story to be told. There's a lot of instances it's like that. If I just said, no, I don't want to have treatment, I wouldn't be here right now, I'd be dead. So what I'm basically saying now is that, is that sometimes 
you need to faint and have an allergic reaction to figure out what the fuck's going on. Because, like everything in life, if you don't try something, you don't know if it's going to go okay. So that's the message for this video, I guess. Is to I don't want to say try everything. You don't try. Don't try everything. Don't try drugs or heroin. Just don't. Um, try the things that you think are going to be good for you. You can take it into whatever context you want. I took cyclozine because I thought it was going to help with my sickness, but it backfired, and there was no way of me to find that out unless I did it. So with a lot of things in life, all you need to do is try, and you need to try them in order to find out if they're going to work instead of just sitting on the side thinking you know it won't work when in fact it might just. So yeah, I think I'm going to wrap this video up here. I'm sorry for it being a bit short and the story being a bit tame. Um, I'm sure tomorrow's video will be a bit better. I am going to try and make it the best video of this week as it probably is my most memorable one out of them all. So uh, leave a like on the video if you did enjoy and yeah, hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye!